Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about an AR platform called Unit AR. With Unit AR, you can create your own augmented reality experience on top of images and packaged content. If you scroll down, you can see a couple of use cases here. So you look at paintings and you can put over images and videos and things like that and you can make people understand about the painting better. And if you look over here, you can see that a, a video has been added on top of a package and with, along with a lot of 3D animations and such. So you can do a lot of things like this and even when it comes to NFT, you can add in animation and such things. And to start with, what you need to do is uh, you're going to have to sign up and this works on a freemium model so you can use it for free for a couple of days. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on try for free. And now that is going to take me to a sign up page. And here I'm going to give a first name. Okay, so it's going to be something like name and my last name is going to be, you know, first and email i'm just going to uh, paste the email and enter a password all right and confirm it okay now i'm going to agree to the terms and conditions here and if you want to receive uh, updates and letters you can check this box but for now i'm just going to leave it unchecked so now I'm going to click on sign up. And now I'm going to get an email in my inbox, right? So I'm going to open up the email inbox here and you can see that it's auto checking. Okay. You can see that the, uh, you know, I've received an email here. I'm going to open it up and there is going to be a button called complete setup and I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me, um, you know, it's going to tell me that the email has been verified. So now all I got to do is start with it. So let's click on let's start. Now it's going to ask me to pick up an industry. So I'm just going to select not a business and student and click on continue. Now we're going to be taken over to the project management window. This is where you control all your projects. Whatever experience that you create using Unit AR, it's all going to appear here. And if you look over to the left side, you should be able to see that there are two other options, custom AR app creator and custom web AR app. And uh, I mean, custom web AR. So if you want to use this, you got to upgrade your package into something like starter or business plan if you want to use this. Uh, but for now, if you are using it for free, then you're stuck with image based AR and the default application and also the default web AR viewer. But, you know, the AR works. So, you know, you can you can use that to start with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create new experience and that is going to ask me to upload a target image. Now, there are two kinds of detection here, right? You have image detection and image detection with QR. What image detection does is it, it doesn't it wouldn't have any artifacts on top of it, like a QR on top of the image, uh, but you can use the image only once. But when it comes to adding a QR, you can have set the same two images, but different content on top of it. So if you want to if you are trying to run a campaign or something like that, you can plan it accordingly. But here I'm going to uh, start with image detection. I'm going to click on create. And it's going to ask me to upload. I'm going to click the browse button and you need to make sure that the image is in JPEG, JPEG or PNG format and under 10 megabytes, right? So I'm going to click on browse and that's, I'm going to select this poster here. Now I didn't create that poster that was downloaded from freepick.com. If you head over to that website, then you should be able to download things in editable format like PSD or Illustrator, whatever you want to use. Now, if I click on PSD, it's going to show me a repository of all the PSD files that FreePick has, and you can download it and edit it. All right. Now, if you are looking for 3D content, then you can use Sketchfabs. They have an amazing library. Now, to work with United AR, you need to make sure that, you know, it needs to be in GLB format. 
Unit Air supports a lot of content formats, but you know when it comes to 3D, DLB is the best one. You can have models like this, you know, going into AR space if you want to. So all that can be done. Now moving back to the editor, I'm going to open up this page. You can see that the image that I just uploaded has three out of five stars. What it basically means is that the tracking on this image is going to be pretty decent. What I would recommend would be anything about three stars. So if you want to know how it works, you can click on learn more and that's going to take you to a page here. And if you scroll down, uh, you should be able to see three comparison images. So these are the, uh, you know, images that explain how, uh, how efficient your tracking is going to be. Here, if you look, there's a sphere. It's a white sphere and it doesn't have any target points. And if you look over at the robot here, you can see that there are some target points and that's why it got a three out of five star rating. If you look over here at this image, you can see that there are more tracking points and it's got a five on five star rating. Now I'm going back to the uh, editor and click on continue. And when this loads up, you're going to see the editor where you can upload contents and such. Now this is the editor. It's a complete 3D editor and here's your target image. And if you left click on here and drag, then you should be able to look around. And over to the left side are the contents that you can use. You can use anything from, like I said earlier, anything from 3D to just regular text. And now I'm for this tutorial video, I'm just going to add a video and then show how the properties panel work because the properties panel change according to the content that you add in here. If you look down here, you can see that there is something called scenes and you cannot use it on a free package. Uh, you have to upgrade it to use that because if you use scenes, then you should be able to guide the AR viewer or the user to another uh, AR page, if you know what I mean. And so to upload a video, I'm just going to show you that with this tutorial. And to upload that, I'm going to click on video and you have a couple of options here. You have a video gallery from where you can uh, choose the videos if you want to. If you like something in it, you can do that. Or if you have a video in MP4 format, then and if it's within 100 megabytes, you can use that. Where it comes in handy is like you know if you if you have a friend or a relative who is going through a wedding and you want to uh, put video on the or I mean the save the date video on top of the invite or something like that, or even social media icons or images, you can do that there. And if you have it uploaded in YouTube, you can just paste the link here and click on add and that will pop up on top of the AR space as well. And for now, I'm just going to click on explore and select a random video so that I can show you how it works. You can see that it has appeared on top of the image and there's a gizmo on top of it and I need to make sure that it is about the image. So I'm going to pull the blue arrow here and you know, put it up. And over to the right, you can see that the properties have appeared. And the first one will be transparent video. So this is like, you know, the chroma screen video that you see. Uh, if you have a, a subject shot in front of a solid color, then you can enable this and pick out that color so that only the subject would be visible. And you can do that here with just a, you know, just a checkbox. And as far as the size and the position and rotation are considered, you know, these are the things that you're going to use. Uh, I'm just going to control the scale and make it a bit small. So here you have the XYZ values and A controls all the XYZ values. I'm going to uh, make it small. All right, I think that looks okay. And if you scroll down further, you can you can enable autoplay, which means that when the when the image is scanned, the video just plays without the user having to take an action, like, you know, pressing a play button. And if you click on loop, it's just the video is going to repeat itself. 
okay? And if you scroll down, uh, you can see there are, there's something called transitions. And for people who have used uh, PowerPoint presentations and such, you know when one slide moves to the other one, uh, there's a transition in between. Or even if you watched uh, uh, something like a photo slideshow video, you can see uh, you know most of the times the photos, they slide to the left or slide to the right. So you can have that kind of effects added in. I'm going to click on slide from left to right. So that's going to make the uh, video appear from left and it's going to appear on a target image like from left. And you can see a small uh, demo of how it's going to look. And you can even control the transition duration. If you want it to happen slow, you can reduce the time. And over at the bottom, you can see that there are objects. So if you want to delete a video or a content on top of this, you can, uh, you know, uh, click on delete here. Now, there are interesting contents like 360, which makes augmented reality feel like virtual reality. Uh, you can also use MP4 format and JPEG. There are some repositories available online from where you can uh, you know, pull down the 360 degree photos and videos. And, uh, and there's also a 3D library that you can pull content from. And this is all uh, free to use if you sign up and uh, you can do that as well. So once you're happy with the experience that you built, uh, you can click on publish. But before you make it public, you would want to preview it, right? So you're going to click preview and that's going to show you the image preview of the target image. Now you can use uh, the application from Play Store, United Air application from Play Store, or you can copy paste this link into a modern browser, web.unitedair.com. And if you don't want to do both of it, you can use the regular camera and scan this QR code. And that's going to open up the scanner and from where you can scan this image and access the augmented content. Let me show you how. To have a look at the AR experience that you've created, you need to open up Chrome. And then here you can type in web.unitear.com. And now that is going to open up the camera and then click on scan target. You can see that the image has been detected and the video has appeared from left to right. Now you can try United AR and thank you for watching.